Hello YouTube, this is Digital Tips with Rick and today we're going to look at making molding. Uh, we're going to uh, learn how to make molding for uh, doors, windows, um, uh, crown molding for rooms, that kind of thing. Uh, so what I've already done here is I've uh, went and located a profile molding image. Uh, you can find that anywhere on the net, just search it out. So what we're going to do to get started here, I'm going to go into my side window here uh, with my reference image up. <clears throat> and I'm going to go into my curves tab and go to the Bezier curve, which is the one on the very end of the shelf. And I'm just going to start by placing some dots. Go kind of all the way around it. It doesn't really matter if you get it exact or not. And if you uh, have a curve or have a need to actually make it kind of curve more, you can hold and drag, and it'll actually curve the handle out for you. So this is why this tool is so awesome to use. So I'm going to finish out my curve by taking it pretty close to all the way down to the bottom here. And now I'm going to hit return to finish my curve. Okay, now you'll see my curve is still closed. I can, go, I can still come back here and edit this thing just by right clicking on it and go to my uh, vertex points if I need to fix anything. I think for this purpose well maybe not okay so we got one up here that's a little, a little wonky so we'll kind of fix that as best we can that works I think so we'll make that work okay so so we have our curve selected and now what we want to do is close this curve so, I'm going to go to our surfaces, edit curves, open close curves, and that now attaches this curve. Okay, now what we want to do is make sure our curve is still selected. We want to go to surfaces, bevel plus, but we want to go to the option box. <clears throat> and what we want to do is change our bevel width to 0.0001 and our bevel depth to the same number. And then when we get that, we hit apply, and then we have a nice polygon shape now. That's a little wonky from where I fixed it, but that's okay. We can still edit that at some time later on. So now what I like to do is just come in here in the vertex mode and grab one of these sides, pull it out, and do the same with the other side. You can do it without grabbing all the oops, other vertices in the middle. So we just pull this thing out. So now when we come back here in our We have a nice looking um, molding now. So that's pretty much all there is to it. Um, if you ever have this kind of issue like I had right here with uh, all you need to do is we can come in here and we can fix that right quick. By pushing, oops, excuse me, this. Push all the, go and select everything and then go into scale and then push it in the opposite direction. And that should line everything up. It's a really simple little trick to do that. And then don't forget this curve is still active. Okay, so what we want to do at this point is we want to delete our history. If we're done using the curve, we want to delete all by type history and that disengages the curve from the model. So now I can move it and it's not gonna be any kind of issue. So this curve is no longer useful, so we can then delete it. 
And then there we go. We now have a piece that we can uh, import into any other uh, project and then attach it to a window or a door or use it as crown molding or whatever we want to do with it. So I hope this uh, tip was helpful. If you uh, have any questions, please leave any comments, questions, uh, concerns even. Uh, and uh, please like and share this video. Thank you very much.